Hi guys, this is me, Rusty78609 in Central Texas, USA. It is Tuesday morning, the 16th, I think, of January 2018. We'll find out in just a minute. And it's cold here in Central Texas, there's no doubt about that. We've got a little ice out on my patio, and uh, we had a little sleep, but not much. Now, I don't know if I'll be able to drive over to Walmart later, but I'm sure I will. Right now, it's, again, I, hey, uh, Google, good morning. Hey, Rusty. <clears throat> the time is 6.48 a.m. Currently in Burnett, it's 28 and cloudy. Today, there will be snow showers with a forecasted high of 33 and a low of 19. There is currently a winter storm warning in effect. Have a nice day. No snow. Uh, no snow flurries here, I guarantee you. But anyway, uh, hey Google, what's the temperature in Bangor, Maine? In Bangor right now, it's 12 degrees. I hear you. Hey Google, what's the temperature in International Falls, Minnesota? The current temperature in International Falls is minus 7. That's fair. Hey Google, what's the temperature in Butte, Montana? The current temperature in Butte is 9 degrees. Yeah, I, mean, I see, I'm, I'm one of the guys now. I mean, our temperature here, we're, we're, we're below freezing, so we're, we're part of the group. But anyway, hey Google, tell us a joke. This might make you laugh. Why don't polar bears get married? They all have cold feet. I mean, if there's something funny in that, I don't know, I missed it. <laughs> I don't know what to say. But anyway, guys, it's supposed to be a little cold here today and tomorrow. Well, the high today is supposed to be like 33. And then uh, in the morning, it'll be in the teens. And then the high, and then the high tomorrow goes up to 45 or so. And then we gradually warm back up. So that's kind of how it is in Central Texas in the winter, even in the worst part. You'll get a, <clears throat> a really cold day and then it just comes right back up. It doesn't linger <clears throat> like it does uh, in the North Country. But anyway, this is Randy Beard on a new coachman that I did a video of. It says, if it's not diesel, your mileage will be terrible. Yeah, apparently on gasoline class C's, about 10 miles a gallon is about all you're gonna get. Uh, Mike Ellis on RVing and stuff says I would caution you on getting the Pixel 2 XL there are several documentation into this phone and for that price I would not chance it your phone you have is perfectly fine I would not change it out unless it died here's a video talking about some of the issues with that phone he left a link to a YouTube I think video Thank you, Mike Ellis. But yeah, after looking into it a little further, I've pretty much come to the same conclusion you have, Mike. Uh, they do have some issues with the phone. And uh, it's got, for me to have a phone like that would be like a dump truck hauling a spoonful of dirt. You understand what I mean? Uh, I would have a lot of horsepower that I would never use. So no, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. That's kind of been my philosophy for years. And right now it ain't broke. But it was fun to look at it. It is a cute phone. It gave me something to do. So, but anyway, thank you, Mike. Randy Beard, uh, this is on a 2017 Class A video I did. It says, a single man could live very nicely in one of these units. Yes, you, you very well could. You very well could because they're, they're really nice. I mean, hell, it's just a home on wheels, man. Uh, this is uh, RV driving. I did this. It's the name of the, this guy's name is Hard Truth. It says, can't, can't explain why I look forward to your videos, but I do. It's like a conversation with an old friend. <laughs> well, what it is, Hard Truth, is I'm talking to myself and you just happen to be listening. That's all. But anyway, thanks. This is BG Beck 55 on Comment Call. It says, I saw a post on Facebook by Jeff Foxworthy that reminded me of you. Rusty, if your porch is permanent but your house is not, you might be a redneck. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Yeah, my house is definitely not uh, permanent. Yeah, I, I hear you. No, I'm a redneck then, I guess. Anyway, thank you, BG Beck 55. This is Phil D. Now, this is a video I did on Prius camping a long time ago. It says, Have you thought of using a full car cover like? you'd use for keeping dust off it and protecting it 
Uh, no, I, I never did uh, think about that. You know, people talk, uh, get left comments about adding a tent, tent at the rear and different things. And I, I never did any of that because you don't have a lot of space to store it, number one. And number two, uh, it's just something else you have to do when you stop if you choose to do it. And I was a free spirit, more free than I am in this travel trailer, I'm for sure. Catherine Be Beckman, Beckman uh, RVing and stuff, says, I would appreciate it if you, you created a list, playlist of the videos where you touch on topics about aging issues. <clears throat> well, uh, <clears throat> I would do that, but I have no idea what they were titled. I mean, I guess I can go look one of these. Well, we'll see. I may do that. I, don't do, I haven't done that many of them, number one. Uh, but we'll see. Thank you for the comment, though. This is Wolfgang Hoffman on Mail Call. It says, stay warm tonight, Rusty. It's going to get cold, man. Yeah, it's pretty cool here. It's not as cold as they thought it was going to be. And uh, the weather is not as bad. I mean, I've got a little, uh, looks like sleet on my patio. But, <clears throat> you know, it's wintertime. This is Roy Fraser. It says, still at the RTR. Finding that living in a van with 16-inch telescope is very hard. Looks like a small Class C RV with a toy hauler may be the way to go. Well, Roy, as you have found out the hard way, you can't put a square peg in a round hole. If you want a lot of stuff, you're going to have to have a lot of space. <clears throat> this is Tex, Tex Old Navy. That's the name. This is on RV. Rusty, have you checked out RV Rebel Girl. I think she has the same unit as you do. No, I have not checked out RV Rebel Girl. Uh, I'll do it. Might do it though. From this is a guy's name is TX Texas Old Navy. Okay, uh, this is RV again. RVing stuff. Uh, Sue D. Hi Rusty. You may be able to keep the phone you have now and just add this device. It's called a gimbal. Uh, may help you with Shaky Jake. I'm sure there are things on YouTube about this too. She left a link to some things. Check out YouTube Best Smartphone Gimbal 2017 and it's cheap. <clears throat> yeah, I looked at those and I may take another look at them, but right now I'm just going to stick with the phone I've got. <clears throat> the, only, the only time it shakes really bad, <clears throat> the only time it shakes really bad is when I'm on rough roads. <clears throat> and that makes sense. This is on the Subway Pizza. This is Angela Williams, and she says it looks great. And it was great. It is great. In fact, I ate half of it. I'm going to have half of it tonight. But I'll do. I'll heat it tonight. I'll heat it on my little cast iron griddle and burn it real good because I like them crispy. Uh, this is RV Drive. This is Hello, I'm Elmer. It says, Rusty, please advise what to buy for my cell phone to hold it in my van if I wanted to use camera. I guess Amazon. Elmer. Uh, well, you know, you can buy a dash mount or a windshield mount style smartphone holder. The, the one I have is called iOtti. It's I, a small i and then it's O-T-T-I-E and I, they sent it to me to do a product review on and it's okay uh, it, it it's okay I mean uh, I haven't found any better uh, for the price I think it's around I don't know it might be fifteen dollars not much but check it out I Audi I O T T I E uh, this is on the tiny home this is Koofy James K U F I James thank you so much I'm I made clubhouses as a kid I got misty eyes 2018 Home Depot sells these $1,575 Oak Brook Terrace. I still have a deal to sell million in 2018. Help each other, share our passion, great ideas. Collect your rainwater and you got a tiny home. Uh, yeah, <clears throat> says good camera. Anyway, yeah, good luck with your project. This is Cute Fuzzy Weasel. <laughs> That's the name. This is a, I did this a long time ago, a conversation about something. Uh, it says it's a good thing to have to just get quick updates on the weather, traffic, movie times, just whatever, so you don't have to stop and check your phone. I think she's talking about the uh, the Google Home device or the Amazon Echo. Yeah, they are. You get used to using them. <clears throat> 
And uh, yeah, they, they they are helpful. I mean, I've gotten to use mine. I use mine exclusively now for my shopping list and timers and stuff. So it works. Uh, this is on the tiny home again. It says this is Giuliano Koshaba. Uh, this is very cozy, nice. It is. It is a nice uh, cozy home. That was the one that was finished out on the inside. Uh, this is RVing, just driving around or or something. Uh, Joe 9209 freaking amazing that you commented about YouTube may not allow what is freaking not appropriate since it may contain Shiite that is not kosher <clears throat> and then he says no problem dude problemo dude uh, anyway this is Jesus Luna on the Toyota Prius thank you good sir I, <laughs> I did a, a deal on the Toyota Prius where the fuses were found because they're hard to find and there's also extra fuses in that fuse box when you finally find it but anyway he Jesus Luna says thank you good sir I was stranded but thanks to your video the extra fuses saved me uh, <laughs> yeah there are extra fuses in that fuse box and they also have the little thing to pull the old fuse out yeah a little they have a little puller pretty neat uh, this is Roscoe El Caco. <laughs> All right. Great advice in the end of your video, video, Rusty. I just subscribed. Well, thank you, Roscoe. Welcome to the group. This is Roscoe. Oh, scratch. I did that one. This is George Lee on the Ram 2715-1500. Uh, I know what you mean. I bought a Durang 2015 Durango all-wheel drive 3.6 liter in it engine. I thought it would pull 6,200 pounds. Turns out without factory tow package, it was rated at only, for only 3,500 pounds. Rusty, what trailer in classic are you buying that weighs only 2,300 pounds? My Sportsman Classic 16 BHT weighs about the same uh, well it, mine is a clipper cadet a coachman clipper cadet 16 cfb weighs 23 or 2400 pounds <clears throat> this is on comment call this is bill g 1527 it says negative nancy and negative neds don't let them get into your heads <laughs> yeah rusty you're a poet and don't know it yeah i came up with that crap yesterday i don't know how i did it <laughs> Oh, it just comes out of this little box up here. Grandma Patty says, I hate when I go looking for something that's gone because my son took it to the pawn shop. <laughs> God damn. Well, in live hell. <laughs> says, my new Vitamix, never used or taken out of the box, is gone. It really has me burning mad because I had done gave away my old one. The two of them cost nearly a thousand dollars, and I have neither. I am I'm raising his kids. He drugs himself and steals from me, and then and them. How sick a man is a man who steals from his mom and his kids? I surely could use a ride in the country. That was beautiful. Well, Grandma or Patty, I don't know what to tell you. You're probably going to have to come up with what they call tough love. <clears throat> It ain't easy. Tiny Home AT. It's an over-glorified shed shanty. Well, it may be that. And boy, we're going to finish out. Scotty Thompson lined them up here. One, two, three, four, five from Scotty Thompson. He He's in a comment. Hi, Scotty. He says, cool comment call, Rusty. Thank you. My dad liked rock and roll music. Chuck Berry, that was favorite my dad was born in 1960 he is 57 years old now he grew up with that music rusty well so did I, i'm familiar with all of that stuff <clears throat> thank you scotty the cool rving talk and camping talk and driving your truck rusty thank you scotty scotty says cool comment call rusty thank you again scotty scotty says do do you ever go to your high school reunion rusty lol he he uh well we haven't had one in a few years and we probably won't have another one because there ain't many people left uh i graduated in a little town called kennedy texas in 1963 and uh so there's just not too many left i had a, our graduating class was a total number of 60 
so you know you cut that down a few times from natural causes and old age and uh, guess what you've got you don't have many left and there's nobody that really wants to put it together you know we're all scattered out all over the US and stuff so that's kind of that deal but anyway uh, hey Google tell us a joke okay here you go I just got a new dry erase board it's remarkable <laughs> what can I say man I mean that that's okay that's that's all right that's all I can say that's okay uh, what else uh, hey Google what's the temperature in Miami Florida the current temperature in Miami is 66 Wow it's pretty nice isn't it hey Google what's the temperature in San Diego California in San Diego right now it's 54 see that's not too bad uh, hey Google What's the temperature in Quartzsite, Arizona? In Quartzsite, it's currently 48. Yeah, what it is, you know, you got the Rocky Mountains and then the, <coughs> and then the range on the east coast and the cold air just flows in between those mountain ranges and comes right on down south sometimes. But anyway, guys, from Central Texas, USA, this is Rusty78609 saying thumbs up, carpe diem, adios, bye bye, buy anything you want, but use the link to Amazon products in the description of this video and all a lot of the others, and for those of you that have used the link, thank you very much, pat yourself on the back because I do appreciate it, uh, I'm an Amazon affiliate, I get a small commission and it does not cost you one dime, so if it's not too inconvenient, use it, if it is convenient, is inconvenient, well don't worry about it, what else? Uh, drink plenty of water three or four quarts a day will not hurt you and actually it's good for you it'll help you avoid gout kidney stones and it will help you lose weight if 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 that's what you want to do because you'll be full of water and what else take deep breaths just breathe in deep and hold it for a few seconds and then breathe out slowly why because that relieves stress and relieving stress lowers your blood pressure and lowering your blood pressure you got to know is good for you so do that one for sure and what else uh, stretch man you know I'll, I'll do my stretches inside today and uh, <clears throat> and then I may drive over to Walmart or Lowe's later on and do my walk and I won't be in any hurry because I don't want to go slipping and sliding if there's any icy spots on the road particularly the bridges because they don't salt here in Texas or, or I, don't, I don't even know if they have any they get a little Martin salt thing and go out on the highway I guess but having said that what else um, <clears throat> oh <laughs> what is it let's see if I can't even remember my own poem stand guard at the door of your mind don't let negative Nancy or Ned get inside your head. I don't think that's exactly what it was, but that's close. Keep away from negative Nancy and negative Ned. Don't let them climb inside your head. So anyway, guys, y'all have a great day. Stay warm. I will. Uh, right now, it's very comfortable in here. But of course, it's in like 26 outside. That's not too bad. Tomorrow, it'll be about 10 degrees cooler in the morning. And then it'll warm up real quick to about 45. But anyway, thumbs up, guys. Enjoy your day. Enjoy your life. And stay warm. And we'll talk again probably later today. I'm expecting a Lucy light. And I'll do a little video about it. Because they're really neat. But anyway, enjoy your day, guys. Bye-bye.